seven of the fantasy football season. And here's top 12 kickers I'm ranking this week. Number one, Justin Tucker, the Baltimore Ravens. Or Justin Tucker, I know the stats haven't been all that great this season with a few good games and a few bad games. Well, right now, this week, a good matchup versus the Detroit Lions. Remember, don't break type of defense. And I could see both teams kicking a decent amount of field goals in this one. Tucker, one of the best kickers of all time. And this week here, I think he gets a few opportunities versus the Lions. And I got him in one number two tie with Bass, the Buffalo Bills. So Bass, it was a tough game for him last week versus the New York Giants, missing two field goals. And it's uncharacteristic of Tyler Bass, obviously. He's usually 90, 95% kicking them. And this week here, I think he gets back on track. I know they got to go to Foxborough where the weather isn't all that great at the New England Patriots. But like I said, Tyler Bass, after missing two last week, I think this week he gets back on track. This Bill team, they're going to have more opportunities. Last week, it was just a bad game offensively, and they didn't score a point in the first half. So I don't see that happening once again for this Buffalo Bill team. They just got to know how to get off to quicker starts because we saw versus Jacksonville and we saw versus the Giants. But this week, I think they get it going and Bass gets opportunities. I got him at two. Number three, Harrison Bucker of the Kansas City Chiefs. So Harrison Bucker, he's been kicking the football well over the last few weeks here and putting up some monster fantasy points for a kicker position. So this week in a potential shootout versus the Los Angeles Chargers coming to town here in Arrowhead Stadium. One of the highest scoring games of the week. It should be, but we'll see what happens for sure. Harrison Bucker is getting opportunities. He's kicking it right down the middle, pretty accurate so far this season. And this week here with all those things I mentioned, shootout and Bucker getting chances and accurate. I got him at three. Number four, Jake Elliott of the Philadelphia Eagles. Elliott, he missed a big one as well versus the New York Jets in that game. But Jake Elliott so far this season, five out of the six games, double-digit fantasy points. And this week, another shootout game with this Philadelphia Eagle team and the Miami Dolphins. It wouldn't be surprising to me if both these teams reached the 30s in this one. So right now, Elliott's been good this season. He had one hiccup last week in that one at the New York Jets. And as a whole, that Philadelphia Eagle team, they would just off in that ball game. And whatever the reason may be, the Jets play great defense, no doubt about it. But I think it was more... Of Philadelphia making the mistake. So this week, I think they bounce back. And Jake Elliott, I got it for number five, Cameron Dicker. At Los Angeles Chargers, Cameron Dicker. I know the last few weeks, the numbers really haven't been there. But this week here, we know they got to put points on the board early and often. Is this Los Angeles Chargers team? They go at the Kansas City Chiefs. And for the most part, their season's on the line here right now. If they lose this one, they'll be three games out of the division race already. Is this Los Angeles Chargers team? So right now, Cameron Dicker... I think he's going to get opportunities. This Chief defense, no doubt about it. It's been playing better, but even though their opponents really haven't been all that great over the last few weeks. So this week here, I think Dicker gets opportunities, and he's one of the better kickers in terms of range and kicking it from 50-plus. So I got him at five. Number six, Brett Maher, a Los Angeles Rams. So Brett Maher, five out of six games so far this season. Double-digit fantasy points. And last week, after a bad week five for Maher, he came back. And he had a double-digit game once again with 13 fantasy points. So this week here versus Bemba, don't break type of defense in the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think Brad Maher is going to get opportunities. He's got a big boot as well. I know the accuracy always isn't 100% for him. We saw him miss two field goals in week four. But I think this week he has another good game after having a nice one in a home game last week where the Rams beat the Arizona Cardinals. And I got him at six. Number seven, Jake Moody. Of the San Francisco 49ers. So Jake Moody, I know he struggled last week missing two field goals, including a walk-off field goal versus the Cleveland Browns, where the undefeated streak to start the season ended for this United team. But this week here, an indoor game, which is always a plus. I know the conditions over there in Cleveland weren't great last week. And Moody, he was drafted in the NFL draft in the third round for a reason. And so far, in the first three weeks of the season, he all had double-digit fantasy games. And then the last few weeks... I know he missed two field goals in last week's game, like I said, is Moody at Cleveland. But those two weeks in that, it was all extra points he was kicking versus the Cowboys in week five. So right now, week seven here, Minnesota, Monday Night Football, opportunities will be there. And if Christian McCaffrey doesn't go in this game with Debo Samuel, they're going to have to rely on kicking the football a little more. Because those guys are guys that punch it in the end zone, in the red zone. So I got him at seven, number eight, Matt Gay the Indianapolis Colts and Matt Gay, we know he got a huge contract in the offseason and so far this season he's played good football and the games Gardner Minshew has been in week three at Baltimore he had 24 fantasy points week five in that one he had a good game with Matt Gay versus the Tennessee Titans with 11 fantasy points and then last week nine fantasy points 
in that one at the Jacksonville Jaguars. So he's getting fantasy points as Mac A. He's an accurate kicker. We saw it with him with the Los Angeles Rams. And now we're seeing it here with his new team this season in the Indianapolis Colts. And a bend don't break type of defense coming to town in the Cleveland Browns. There's going to be opportunities for Mac A. It's an indoor game, always a plus here in Indianapolis. And like I said, Gardner Minshew, it's going to be tougher for this team to drive it into the end zone a lot versus Cleveland defense. Number nine, Daniel Carlson. The Vegas Raiders, the Daniel Carlson, he's been a solid kicker over the last few seasons. I know this year the points haven't been great for Carlson, but the opportunities really haven't been there as well for him as much as we've seen in previous seasons. But this week here, we're back up quarterbacks in either Aiden O'Donnell or Brian Hoy are going to start this game most likely for this Las Vegas Raider team. I think Carlson's going to get opportunities. I know in Chicago and Soldier Field, it's not always the greatest a kicking conditions but like I said Carlson's got a big boot 50 plus is pretty easy for him throughout his NFL career and this week here with backup quarterbacks in there I think both teams kickers are going to be settling three or four field goals in this one it could be an ugly game no doubt about it number 10 Jason Myers of the Seattle Seahawks so the Seahawks have a good matchup versus the Arizona Cardinals where they don't stop anyone for the most part and teams they live in the red zone where at least field goal range for the most part this season, we saw it last week with Brett Maher scoring 13 fantasy points and hitting four field goals. So I think this week here, Jason Myers, home game Seattle, 12th man, pretty good park to kick in over there in Seattle. I think he gets at least two or three opportunities, a few extra points, and I got him at 10, number 11, Jason Sanders of the Miami Dolphins. So this could be a high scoring game, obviously, the top scoring game of the week. We're second behind maybe the Chargers and the Chiefs. But anyway, Jason Sanders, we know he's in a high-powered offense. We know not a lot of field goal attempts, but we also know a lot of extra points. We had a game already this season versus the Denver Broncos where he hit 10 extra points. So right now in a potential shootout. And this Philly defense is a bend but don't break type of defense. I think opportunities for field goals will be there as well. Not just extra points for Sanders. And I got him 11 and the 12th and final kicker. I'm ranking this week here. It's Dustin Hopkins of the Cleveland Browns. So right now, we don't know if Watson or P.J. Walker are going to start this game. But this Brown offense, they've had trouble punching it in to the end zone, especially now since Nick Chubb has been out for the season going back a few weeks after injuring the knee at the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Dustin Hopkins last week, a monster game, double-digit fantasy points, 17-point game in fantasy leagues. And this week here, it's an indoor game in Indianapolis which obviously is a plus to Hopkins last week. We know he missed one as well, where he could add 20 fantasy points in that game. So right now, while Hopkins is getting opportunities and the Browns aren't finishing off drives in the end zone, and like I said, especially if P.J. Walker's starting, I think chances will be there. And I got him at 12, so that's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking here for Week 7 of the fantasy football season.